time we checked out the fighting ring. Oh, we're going down. <laughs> oh, there. It's like, it's not that guy. Who am I talking to? Oh, you must be the traveler, huh? Sorry, mate, but uh, competitors as strong as you are prohibited from participating. Aww. I don't make the rules, mind you, but I was given very specific instructions. That's fair, I would maim or kill. Even convicts value their lives, don't they? I hope you can understand. <laughs> I understand. But we have a game here that'll let you show off your strength. Okay. And you'll even earn some credit coupons in the process. What do you think? Interested? Sure. And if we lose the game, will it cost us credit coupons? Of course. That's the cruel reality oh facing every competitor in a place like the Pancration Ring. Okay. Okay. Great. Let me walk you through the rules. Yeah. The targets in front of you will pop up one after another. You'll need to hit the targets in the same order that they popped up. Huh. If you can complete a few rounds in a row with no mistakes, then you'll win credit coupons. How many times do the they pop up? The second you mess up the order, you lose. Game over. Oh God. The game costs 300 credit coupons to have it go. So, you up for it? Okay. I wish they were further apart. Thanks for your patronage, mate. Now, mate? Let the game begin. Do you just mate me, mate? Okay. Uh, I gotta follow it four times. When the hmm, when the targeting light turns blue, you must attack on the order. So I don't have to do the pace. I have to do the same pace. I just gotta do the same order, I guess. Okay. Okay. Do your best to hit the targets. Just like calling Two, back. four, three. Whoa. Two. Four. Three. Four, three, one. I'm allowed five wrong ones. One, four, two. One more round. Three, one, two. God, does only have a three? Kind of really good. It wasn't hard. It was a very simple job, Bahamon. I was expecting something far more complex. I'll be. They weren't exaggerating about how strong you are. Don't worry, I wouldn't dream of shortchanging you. Uh, here's the credit coupons you won. Put them somewhere safe. Thanks, man. We have a creation ring and return to the dormitories. Where's V Dog, by the way? Hey, did he ever tell us? Oh, he said to look for the shop. I don't know where the shop is. Hope we can make even more progress tomorrow. Okay, so we've got to work all day, is what you're telling me. Got it. <sighs> the dawn of a new day. Paimon feels like we're getting used to life as convicts. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? What do you have planned for us? Work. Let's go! Cren do I have to speak to him before doing it or after doing it? Look who decided to show up! Get your butts in yeah, gear and get yeah, to work. Yeah, yeah, Time's yeah. a waste. I'd like to apply for three continuous working uh -oh. days. What's with suddenly wanting to work so hard? You need coupons that badly? Yes. Sure. Let's just say we really want to test our limits. To investigate the hidden rules, you and Paimon start working despite the lack of clarity. Nice! We did well today. Let's keep it up! <laughs> We're just gonna zoom in and out. Paimon's had it. Who knew that processing these widgets would be so tiring? Let's 
slow trudge on day two. What is day three? Oh, that's it. Paimon doesn't even have the energy to talk anymore. Is it time to eat yet? So Paimon will never be able to work a physical labor job, clearly. Come on, lunch time for Paimon. And this is where shit hits the fan. Oh god, we're even slower. <laughs> Granville's like, you idiots. You finish your morning work and arrive at the coupon cafeteria. Okay, so what's gonna happen? Wait, we never spoke to V-Doc! Should've looked for him. I'm oh, exhausted. It's just work, work, and more work. Paimon's little body can't handle this much longer. <gasps> Wait a sec. Now that Paimon thinks about it, haven't we been working non-stop for three days now? And now it's lunchtime. I mean, technically, we haven't been working non-stop. We did a morning shift and an afternoon shift three day, for two and a half days in a row. Uh, you're only just realizing that now. Oh, Paimon feels a shiver going down her spine. What's going to happen? But... It doesn't seem like anything's changed at all. And we made it to the coupon cafeteria safely. Are the so-called hidden rules only a rumor after all? Don't get your hopes up. Well, there's no use to just guessing all day. Paimon's stomach has been grumbling the whole time. Let's just eat already. Paimon wonders what we'll get today. Maybe we'll get the super lucky meal. Maybe we'll get the worst meal possible. Wait, what? This is... What in the world is this? What's with Paimon's food? And yours is the same! What is it? Is this stuff... meat? But it looks and feels so bizarre! What kind of chef would make food like this? I've never seen a welfare meal like this. There's something wrong with this meat. What do you think is going on? Is this the bad thing that Rowan was talking about? Someone went missing before and now our meals have a strange meat. No, stop right there! Paimon gets what you mean, just don't say it! Hey, isn't that Woolsey over there? He must have made the food, right? So let's just ask him about the food and be done with it! Are we about to hey, stalk Woolsey, this guy? have a moment? Hmm? What is it? I'm about to go report the numbers for today's free meal, so you'd better make it quick. Can you please tell me what animal this came from? Uh, it's about the meat in our meals. Look, does it seem... normal to you? The meat? Oh, that. Looks perfectly fine to me. Totally normal. You better hurry up and shout out. I mean, I don't trust this guy. He's one of these old guys who was like, back in my day, we used to use corporal punishment for children. And you know, it, 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 he's disagreeing with the, the good changes that Riotsley is making to this place. So I wouldn't put it past him to try and poison us. Plot thickens. Yeah, looks like we have no other choice. Paima was positively famished a minute ago, but now she's lost her appetite. The strange meat. The strange welfare meal received after violating the hidden rules of the production zone. So do we just not eat for a day? What would you like to do this afternoon? I want to see V-Dog. Investigate the clues we discovered. Since we have time now, let's focus on investigating some more. I don't know where his bloody shop is. Walk around and look for clues. Where? I don't even have a symbol for a shop, do I? Fortress of Meripede, the Duke's office. Welfare meals. Yeah, I don't even have a symbol. For the shop. So I don't even know where it's located. Uh, that's down. This is the only one on this level. <laughs> Find an opportunity to look around and collect clues regarding this strange meat. Fitzroy. Oh, he hello. You two are the ones are who you? were with His Grace. Yeah. No need to be so nervous. Sorry. I couldn't help but think of His Grace once I saw you, and I... Are you that scared uh, of him? Oh, well, it's hard to say. Maybe I am. He's got a very overwhelming presence. It makes me feel like I'm just some insignificant little bug. Wait, seriously? Oh, well, I'm always indecisive, and I tend to make a mess of things. It's like a reflex. I just instantly start to tense up the moment I see a smart and capable person like His Grace. Oh, I get it. You want to take his place. What? P please, don't say anything like that out loud. 
How could you possibly think something like that? Okay, that wasn't very useful. Am I going down or up though is the question. Both, down and up. Wouldn't it make sense to go up first? How does one go up? I'm trying to see arrows, but I can't see any. Again. Bye. <laughs> All right. Ugh, of course, I had to be the far one, didn't it? I was injured a bit just now. Nothing major, I think I just pulled something. A little mishaps like this are unavoidable at work, you know? Huh. Paimon wouldn't have thought someone as experienced as the Chief would still get hurt on the job. Just because you're good at your job doesn't mean you're not going to get hurt. I just knew you would say that. This is pretty embarrassing. Uh, where is Siegeween when you need her anyway? The one time I need to make a quick trip to the infirmary. Oh, you mean she wasn't in the infirmary? Yeah. The rumors say that there's never anybody in the infirmary in the half hour before lunch, and nobody knows where Siegewing gets off to. Interesting. But she's always absent during lunch, so this isn't just a coincidence. Huh. That's actually really strange. Siegewing's always super dedicated to her work. Where else would she possibly go? <sighs> Forget it. I can take care of a small sprain like this on my own anyway. No need to trouble her. Empty infirmary. What could she be doing during this time? It's all innocent, I'm sure. Lynette. <laughs> Boo. Oh, wonderful. I was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn reward coupons all the time, but it seems like you haven't neglected your investigation work after all. Paimon likes having more coupons, but no one wants to work all the time. Have you also been investigating the area, Lynette? Nope. I was just slacking off, and you happened to catch me. <laughs> and how's Liddy holding up? My brother is still obsessed with anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone. But knowing him, it won't be long before we get more leads. Oh, before I forget, this is for you. <gasps> is it coupons? Huh? Credit coupons? Thanks, Lynette. Why are you giving us these? I've been here longer than you. Coupons aren't a resource in particularly short supply. What is in short supply are interesting people to talk with. So you're paying me to talk with you? Aww, Aww. that's so nice of you, Lynette. We'll be sure to make good use of these coupons then. Thanks a bunch! I suppose she doesn't want to be sociable, so she wants us to be sociable for her with other people. <laughs> I see through you, Lynette. Oh, there's more here? I guess we can go into the infirmary. Looks like a research notebook. That suspicious guy peeking into the infirmary just now. Are they a fan of Seedwing? He must have dropped this. Let Paimon read it real quick. The Melisee perceive the world very differently from humans. There are significant deviations. As a result, their sense of aesthetics and beauty is also very different from that of humans. This must be taken into consideration when giving gifts. Whoa. This all sounds pretty serious. He sure did his homework. When he objects to us looking through his notes, we should thank him for the intel. 
And as for the notebook, let's take it. <laughs> Just take someone's property. Okay. All right, ground floor. I guess we actually have to take the lift for this one. Where is it? To say, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, it's actually just water. I thought we could go down again, but no. <laughs> Life balance, but I think this is pushing it. <laughs> is it because I've been working for three days straight? Cutting. Wait, there's Sichuan. Sichuan? Aren't you supposed to be in the infirmary? What are you doing in the production zone? She's not tied to the infirmary, you know. She can't go where she pleases. Hello, traveler. Paimon. Everyone's usually busy around now. And we don't have any patients to look after in the infirmary. I thought I'd come here and enjoy the sight of everyone hard at work. Is that really something you like to look at? Enjoy? Oh, uh, what's there to enjoy here? It's really worth watching. I often stand here and observe everyone. Humans are just so interesting and adorable. I like to watch your expressions while you work. Yeah, but you're half human too, dear. I think. Uh... Are you talking about pets or people? Do you also happen to be a head veg uh, veterinarian as well as a head nurse? Oh, I can see why you think that, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. See, we Melazines are a different species, and we see the world very differently from humans. It's very easy for me to observe everyone's condition. All it takes is one look, and I can tell which workers are exhausted. I mean, so can I. Wait! Melazines can see that? Huh. That does sound useful for being a nurse. <sighs> yes. Running around tending to everyone's health is very fulfilling. But I'd much prefer it if you're all happy and free from exhaustion and pain in the first place. So we're just accepting the fact that this human-looking Melazine is just a Melazine, whereas all the others have, like, fur in their face and whatnot. She's got human characteristics. We're just ignoring that. Take care of your body. Okay. Make sure you eat well. Weird. Always rest when you're tired from work and don't push yourself too hard. Got it. We definitely take care of ourselves. Thanks for the reminder. Uh, okay, she's observing people. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Deacon. Oh god, he's gonna rip me a new one. Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon. Oh, so now you remember our names. <laughs> no need to tease me, okay? I won't trip on the same step twice. I totally will! Just like His Grace said, paying attention to every little detail is the key to prosperity. Hmm, maybe this is the true meaning of rebirth, not just earning credit coupons. That's it? Okay. Walk around and look for some clues. What level are we going to? Oh. Oh, wow, that's super high up. There we go. So now we're heading towards the dormitories. Look at me fielding. I still have no idea how to get to Vidox store. It says look for clues yet I'm sleeping. Oh, what? You want to stop investigating and go rest? 
time for a rest. Okay. According to the we game. Should rest up. We'll be back at it tomorrow. So after working a few days straight, we got some strange meat in our lunch. What was that all about? Hmm. Has our investigation turned up anything useful recently? I think I've got something, but unfortunately it's not related to child. Really? <sighs> then it looks like that part of the investigation has hit a dead end. Well, we'll keep searching for more clues tomorrow. Good night, traveler. That is not what it thus says. <sighs> Are we gonna see more of Ch uh, Takla? Nope. Maybe we can make some progress in our investigation today. What do you have planned for us? Work. Choose to go to the point in the afternoon and get... But I already went there. Fine. After working here so long, we're but doing the same thing all the time can... I'm fine. Yeah, it's good to... I don't think there's any easy work. The job is what the job is. <laughs> You apply with Grenville to do some simpler processing tasks and get some credit coupons without breaking a sweat. You finish your morning work and arrive at the coupon cafeteria. Is it gonna be this meat again? Oh! Just a regular meal set. Guess Paimon shouldn't get her hopes up. It's better than purple meat. What would you like to do this afternoon? Go back to the pancration ring. Maybe we'll be able to find some leads there. You'll have a prank creation ring for a second time. Guess I wasn't supposed to do that the first time. Oh, back for another try? I hope you brought enough credit coupons this time. Of course. All right, then get ready to play. Okay. Okay. Guess we gotta do this again. Okay, do your best to hit oh, the shush. target. Just like Colin said. Your strength really shouldn't be underestimated. Now I get why you're prohibited from participating in any official fights. I don't know that challenge really has anything to do with strength so much as it does memory. Nobody who values their life would be willing to get in the ring with you. You flatter me. However, you two haven't tried betting on the outcome of a pancreation match yet, have you? I'm the betting kind, sir. Just go talk to Rusimov. Buy a ticket for whichever fighter you think will win. There's a big payout if the fighter you support comes out on top. But I don't like gambling. We don't know anything about the fighters. How can we possibly know who to support? That's normal. Just watch a few matches and get a feel for the fighters. It won't be long before you can pick winners in your sleep. He's got a point. Why don't we give it a try? If we have enough coupons, we could probably bet at random until we figure everything out. Huh. Bet at random, huh? Uh, well, how should I put it? Uh, it's not like you can't do that, but... I'd advise you to give it some more thought first. Oh, you know I'm gonna say the last bit, huh? okay. We shouldn't get too carried away. What's the problem? There's some sort of rule here. What? I never even picked a boxer before, and you already know about the rules? You're not just strong fighters. Seems you're pretty perceptive too. They're hidden rules, that's what they're called, right? Uh, exact same response. Might as well tell you about it, since you already know that much. Plus, I I think you've got the potential to be one of my greatest customers. I think I can let you in a bit. Besides, I don't want to risk ever losing a customer like you. Uh, is it that serious? Okay. The hidden rule here is, if you buy both boxers tickets and support them both, something bad will happen the next morning. Let's go. So the rule is that we shouldn't pick both boxers in the same fight, but if anyone actually did that, wouldn't they be guaranteed to lose coupons? Who would do that anyway? How would you lose coupons? You'd be guaranteed to come out even, and that's why there's no point. Because you'd be recouping on the winner what you lost on the loser. And what do you mean by something bad will happen? How would I know? 
Not like I'm stupid enough to do that. Wow, please don't belittle my intelligence. But I'm just curious. A story about the rule. According to the rumor, there was a masked boxer who possessed incredible skill and power. It's all clear. None of his opponents even stood a chance against him. However, in the final match, the organizers told him to take off his mask. He refused and never showed up to the fight. And after that, he was never seen again. Some say he died or that he was taken care of by the event's organizers. But everyone remembers that he was someone who cherished honor above all else. In his eyes, supporting both boxers in a match would dishonor the competition itself. So you mean, it's like a curse? He'll take vengeance on anyone who does that? Have you seen what he really looks like? No, he was always wearing a mask, like he was intentionally trying to hide his identity. I don't even know anything about his past. Traveler. Do you think that boxer was... Thank you very much for the information. Huh? We will? I didn't say anything about doing it, but okay. You're not serious, are you? Very. I apparently wished bad luck on myself. Look, here I was just trying to be nice and warn you, yet here you are trying to break it on purpose? Yep. Yeah, it sounds pretty scary to Paimon. This is the exact same response. Nothing much, uh. nothing gained. Seems Betting on both fighters will set you back about 3,000 yeah. credit coupons. If you have enough, then go ahead and give it a try. No, Just I don't. don't come running back to me if something happens. Because I used it to come here. Didn't I? Yeah, I don't have enough. Ah, we woke up so early today that Paimon's been nodding off all afternoon. Good thing it's finally time for bed. Oh, Paimon doesn't want to get up. Paimon still feels Enough. completely exhausted from yesterday. What do you have planned for us? Okay, go to the Pancration Ring after earning 3,000 credit coupons. Walton. This doesn't really tell me what we're going to do. Let's do it after. After working here, so but doing the same thing all the time. I'm fine, let's go. Yeah. Let's just get some coupons, by Mum. We might need them because we're just gonna spend three thousand of them. I can't afford to be broke. Uh, broke. I say broken, but I guess I can't afford to be that either. Time to go to the pancreation ring. Knowing child, he must have been there all the time. I well, certainly would have passed the time for him. It'd be a good way to earn credits. Hmm? Are you two here to buy tickets? Better be quick about it. Another match is about to start. Who are the boxers in the next round? We have the reigning champ, Le Grappler, versus a contender from the eastern prison block, Demon Horde. Are those their nicknames, or did they choose those names themselves? Either way, super weird. Uh, since you're new around here, I'll help you out and give you a little suggestion. Even though Le Grappler is the crowd favorite, Demon Horde is a first-class dark horse with incredible potential. Anyway, for this match, I recommend that you pick... We'll buy tickets for both fighters, please ross them off. Huh? F uh, for both fighters? Yeah, I like to just not gain a profit. Uh, I could tell you're new to this, but... I didn't think you were completely clueless. Maybe you don't quite understand the rules, no? Let me try to explain again for you more clearly. You see... No, I get it, oh, man. no need, no need. Um, we're aware that we're going to lose coupons. I don't understand how. Okay, so we're spending 3,000. You're spending 1,500 on one fighter and 1,500 on the other fighter. Okay, so one guy loses. Fighter A loses. You lose your 1,500 that you bet on fighter A. But fighter B wins, so you get back your 1,500 that you spent on him, and he won, so you get a winning of 1,500 back from him. So then you're no longer down 1,500. You end exactly where you started. How are we losing coupons? Or do you lose coupons just for placing a bet? 
All right, then, if you're absolutely sure. Remember, no refunds once you buy the tickets. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Just shut up and take our coupon. Jesus, I need to be rude. Good grief. He's just trying to be, care you know, caring about somebody. My God. Oh, looks like we won't get a chance to sleep in as long. Okay. What time of the morning is something bad gonna happen? God, that bed is massive. Oh. Hey, fine. traveler. Buy mine. Package here for you. Oh, that doesn't bode The well. next time you buy something, go pick it up yourself. I'm not a delivery man, you know. I didn't even know I could get packages here, so huh? this is news to me. A package? For us? Did you buy something, traveler? <laughs> Uh, unless this is. All oh, right. Yesterday we broke the hidden rule and bought tickets for both boxers. Oh, maybe this package is the bad thing that Colin said would happen. Huh? Paimon suddenly feels wide awake. Wait, maybe let Paimon go hide somewhere first. Just call Paimon after you opened it. Question: What happens if you just keep working and working and working and working and exceed the forty-five days that you're here imprisoned? Just don't know if anyone's been bored enough to try that. And how many wait, coupons wait, would you get? Wait, I'm still here. Don't open it. Ah! Drama queen. Doesn't seem especially scary, but there is something a little odd huh? inside. What is it? Are you okay? Uh, let Paimon take a peek too. A red vial. Oh, it's just a small bottle. But the color of the liquid inside looks so wrong. Almost like... Hmm, rumor has it that a box went missing and the liquid in the bottle obviously looks like blood. Yep, looks like or is. Two very different things. Alright, that's enough of that. No need to say it out loud. Paimon already knows what you're trying to say. Do you want to give it a sniff? Ooh, no way! Get that stuff away from Paimon! Seems like we'll have to investigate. This place is chock full of strange happenings after all. Uh, Paimon thinks we shouldn't open the bottle until we figured out what's going on. Just trust Paimon in this one, okay? No, Paimon's just a coward. It's too light to be blood, and it looks too watery to be blood, actually. What if we pour the what blood on the purple meat? I don't know, I'm pretty broke. Yeah, I'm so broke. Though it feels nice to slack off a little, let's 